Okay, I know I said I would never buy uh, Poulons or whatever, but they had this marked half price, so it was only like a hundred bucks for a 20 inch um, Poulon. Brought it home, worked great. Cut it up. Oh, I probably got 10 sections of the uh, big huge tree up front cut up, and then um, I was cutting some small pieces and it caught the chain and pulled it off and uh, kind of wrapped up and got locked up or whatever and it hasn't started since. So some people are saying that um, I've tried everything, it's got over 120, like 125 compression, it's got spark, got all that, which I, you know, it's brand new, shouldn't be any of that wrong. Um, since it caught in here and stuff, they said to check the flywheel key, uh, so that's what I'm going to do now. Supposedly you just bang on it like this and get it off, but I'm hoping that it's something simple like that because otherwise I'll feel dumb and go against what I've always said about not buying steel or something from now on. Yep, that worked. Cool. So just make sure you, um, if you don't have that tool that threads on, uh, leave it up just to just flush or just a touch higher than there so you don't mushroom it and you can get the nut back on when you're done. Um, and then I just used a socket extension, banged on it twice, and there it goes. And, uh, well, that's not what it is because it is built into, the keyway is built into there, so it's not sheared. Um, so now I'm going to go back to the drawing board and see what it might be. But it's got to be something with this. Uh, that's the only thing that makes sense is the way that it skipped to the chain and then won't start at all since then. Everything else is going great. Let me go do some more research, but yeah, you can see right here, uh, right there, see the keyway is built into it, um, so it, it didn't shear that, so let's see what else it might be. Okay, so I don't have one of the little flywheel tools, or flywheel, clutch tools, it's just two little nubs that stick in the center part, but we do have this Toyota, um, uh, what's it called, oil filter, <laughs> or my... I think it's for a Camry, I can't remember exactly. Um, anyway, it's got just right, and it'll fit right on there. Um, it doesn't fit in the holes, but if you move it out, one will fit on the outside edge, and one will fit on the, the spring side. So it worked great. Got it loosened up real quick, and able to take it off easily. Um, I'm sure everything in here is gonna be fine. So I just am at a loss, but I just wanted to make sure that it all looks good. And I didn't, you know, I wanted to be able to check these back teeth because the chain did get caught in here and kind of um, tore it up some. So I was expecting to see that, that flywheel. Um, we've had that happen on a uh, lawnmower before, so I thought that might be it, but um, it didn't do anything to it. So I just thought I'd take this off, thought I would take this off and check it out as well. But it looks in pretty good condition too. So now I'm going to go and see what else it might be. Okay, so after all of that messing around and trying the compression, taking the flywheel off and all that other stuff, it ended up being flooded. Um, I went back in after messing with it and found another um, forum on Arborist's website or something and there's a guy on there named Fish and all through the thing they're all saying flywheel and compression and go get you a compression tester and all this other stuff. Luckily I have that already so I was able to test all that already and like I said it had compression it had fuel and wasn't starting so and I definitely was getting spark um, have a spark plug tester as well that was doing well all of that stuff was together so I could not figure out why it wasn't starting well this guy fish kept basically saying fine don't listen to me <laughs> you know because they were I don't know it was uh, four pages so there was four tabs finally skipped to the end and the guy you know basically didn't want to admit that he didn't try the stuff so he moved it to another place and said oh it was flooded so I tried exactly what he said I basically took the spark plug out turned it upside down on the driveway and let it sit all day in the sun um, and then I well of course you empty your tank first and pump the bulb as much as you can to get all the all the gas out right and then you take your spark plug out 
set it on the ground upside down, let it dry out for a day. Um, it didn't start when I first put it, I put new gas back in, primed it just like it says five times, and it still wouldn't start. So I thought, well, heck, man. So I took the spark plug off, and I pulled the chain once, and mist of uh, gas just came out like that. So I let it dry for a, a few minutes, um, dried off the spark plug, put it back in, but did not prime the bulb, and it fired right up. So, um, and now it's, it seems to be working fine. Doesn't take too many pulls to. It's like new still, so knock on wood to pull on. If I take care of it, it'll still start. Um, still prefer the steel. It's a lot easier, but like I said, I found this guy on sale at um, Tractor Supply. It was 50% off one day, just sitting there on a model, and uh, it's 20 inch bar, so it'll finish cutting up those trees in the front. So that's why I got it. But anyway, if somebody says it's flooded and they know what they're talking about, listen to them because that was that was the easiest fix. I messed around with this thing probably for. A week I guess and had it all tore apart and I did try the flywheel and checked it out like you saw um, just because that was what the other uh, forum had said and we did have that happen to a, um, a lawnmower one time where I sheared the flywheel and the timing was off and everything else but and since the chain fell off and got jammed up in there I thought well maybe that was it um, I got it pinched in a and the log fell and then pulled the chain off and all that so that's how that happened but anyway ended up being uh, flooded and thanks to fish it's fixed now um, it was a really old post, so I doubt he's still out there anywhere. I would have left a message and posted on there, but, uh, yep, spark plug out, let it dry out for a day, put it back in, and should fire right back up. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. Gotta do things the old-fashioned way. It's the only exercise I get. And, gotta have your coffee in the mornings.